All right, you are welcome to chemistry class with an aquarium Christopher GK, your chemistry teacher. Today's class or this edition of video, you will be learning the topic alkanoids. We'll be looking into the topic titled alkanoids. Uh, it's expected that by the end of this particular class, you should be able to explain a sterification reaction. You should be able to give five examples of alkanoids. You should be able to list at least three physical properties of ester. Then outline the reactions of esters and the alleles. List the uses of esters. We'll be using them or treating them, looking at them one after the other. Now let's start with what actually what alkanoid or ester X. What is an ester or what is an alkanoid? First of all, esters are derived from carboxylic acids. A carboxylic acid contains the COOH group. An ester, the hydrogen in the group is replaced by the hydrogen hydrocarbon group of some kind. Now listen, an ester, esters are derived from carboxylic acids. Now the carboxylic acid contains has this formula, a functional group COOH group. Now, in an ester, the H, which is the hydrogen in that particular functional group, in that carboxylic acid, is replaced by a hydrocarbon group of some kind. It could be alkyl, it could be something like maybe methyl, it could be ethyl, it could be propyl, it could be any other thing, it could be benzene, benzene structure, which when pronouncing them, we call it phenyl. Now, it could be maybe sodium, but the H in C C C O O H of the carboxylic acid is being replaced with hydrocarbon group or any compound aside the H there. That is ester. Now, we can see the structure here. R is normal alkyl. A K group, it could be methyl, that one, it could be ethyl, it could be propyl, it could be any, any A K group, it depends on the number of uh, hydrogen atom, uh, uh, carbon atoms. Now, the C, O, O, we can see double O, one with double bond, one with single bond, that is the same O, O. Now, the other R there, we can see that it has pi on top of it. High, uh, it has a factorial, it has a, 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 a R pi. Or, or, or one, something on top of it. It tells us that it could be now, it could still be a K group, it could still be phenyl, it could be benzene uh, drink, it could be any other thing. But the OO, OO, COO, which is the, from a, a carboxylic acid, must be in that structure. That's what we are just trying to say about ester. Now, how does it form? How does the ester form? is formed by the process of what we call esterification with the chemical reaction, chemical process called esterification. Now, the chemical reaction that takes place during the formation of the ester is called esterification. How does it undergo? Esterification, what is it? It is the process of combining an alkanoic acid, which is an organic acid, with alkanol with alcohol, which is alkanol, combination of alkanoic acid with alkanol gives us ester to form ester and water. Water will also be there. So when you use ethanol and ethanoic acid, we are going to have ethyl ethanoates and the water will also be formed. So what is esterification? You can say is that it's a chemical reaction resulting in the formation of at least one ester product. Ester is obtained by the 
by an esterification reaction of an alkanol, alkanol, which is alcohol, and carboxylic acid. Reaction, well, still remember in the last video when we did about alkanols, one of the chemical properties, one of the chemical behavior is the esterification reaction, the reaction between alkanoic acid and alkanol to give you ester and water. The forward reaction of it, we call it esterification. So that is how ester is being formed. Ester is being formed through the chemical process called esterification. Esterification is the process of, uh, uh, is the reaction, the chemical reaction between an alkanoic acid and alkanol to form ester and water. So that is it. Um, the chemical reaction for esterification is given below. We can see it alkanoic acid and alkanol or alcohol, as the case may be. Forward reaction gives you ester and water. Backward reaction is hydrolysis. When you hydrolyze the ester, it's going to give you back uh, alkanol and alkanoic acid. So it's also a chemical behavior of that. So the equation below is alkanoic acid plus alkanoic, that is ethanoic acid plus ethanol, which is being represented, is going to give you ethyl from the right, ethyl ethanoate plus water. So that is how ester is being formed. Ester is now the ethyl ethanoate. Uh, we can still have other ones that there is not only ethyl, can have methyl ethanoate. If you react ethanoic acid and uh, methanol, it's going to give you methyl ethanoate and uh, all of that plus water also. So this is how esters are being formed with the reaction called est esterification. What are the members of ester? We have so many members of ester. Their are, are names, their are common uh, molecular formula or structural formula. We have um, the IOPAC name methyl ethanoate, ethyl ethanoate, ethyl, methyl ethanoate, ethyl ethanoate, ethyl propanoate, iso, uh, propyl butanoate, and many of them many of them. We have ethyl butanoate, ethyl propanoate, ethyl uh, hexanoate. It depends. So many depends on the reactant. It depends on the, the alkanol and the alkanoic acid that reacted that will give you, that will determine the product of ethanol, of alkanoate, which is ester that will be formed. It's the reactant that determines the particular product that will be formed. So, we there are so many members of alkanol, alkanoate acid, alkanoate. Many members of ester, many members of alkanoate depends on the reactant. So we have several uh, compounds. This we can use methyl ethanoate, methyl ethanoate, ethyl ethanoate, ethyl propanoate, um, butyl ethanoate, um, even propyl butanoate propyl hexanoate and others even ethyl decanoate is still it is still it is still very very accepted why when the canoic acid which is from alkanoic acid reacts with ethyl it gives you ethyl decanoate so it depends on the reactant and these are the members and with this you can give many other examples of ester as the case may be all right, um, what are the properties, physical properties of ester? What are the things that make them unique in terms of their physical properties? One thing you should note is that esters are neutral. They are neutral to litmus. They are neutral to changes in terms of the um, indicators. They are neutral. They are neutral compounds. Number two, esters are colorless and they exist in liquid states at normal room temperature. At room temperature, they are colorless and they exist in liquid states. Esters now, once again, they are polar due to the presence of carbon A group and act as hydrogen bond acceptor, not as donors. Esters are polar compounds. Number four is that esters are volatile in nature and have low boiling and melting point. But when we talk about alkanols, we know that we say that alkanols have a high boiling point they have high boiling point but this one they have low boiling and melting point now esters also have characteristic sweet smell or sweet odor 
they have sweet smell, sweet odors. Number six is that esters are highly soluble in organic solvents. They are soluble in organic solvents and they partially soluble in water. In terms of organic solvent, they are highly soluble. But in, but in water, they are partially soluble. All right, that is for physical properties of ester, esters. Now, what are the chemical behaviors? Number one, note it, hydrolysis. That means backward reaction of the formation gives you hydrolysis. Still know that the formation of the ester is a reversible reaction. Forward reaction is a sterification. Going back is hydrolysis. So ester, when he is being hydrolyzed, is going to form back that product that gave, back, gave to him. That is ethanoic acid and, um, and uh, ethanol. Acanoic acid and acanol. It will give back to that particular, that particular product that gave it through a sterification. But now, listen. It depends on the particular hydrolysis. We have acid hydrolysis and the uh, alkaline hydrolysis. So when it's being hydrolyzed, when there is when we use acid hydrolysis, we produce carboxylic acid and alcohol. But when there is and um, when you use um, the hydrolysis that you use alkalis as a catalyst instead of an acid, is going to produce the 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 carboxylic the carboxylic acid for uh, the carboxylic acid will produce the salt of that particular acid now the alkaline hydrolysis if an alkalis is used as a catalyst it will immediately react with the carboxylic acid formed it will react with the carboxylic acid so what will be formed there will now be the salt of that particular carboxylic acid if it is Sodium hydroxide that is being used as a catalyst definitely uh, is going to form the carboxylic, that particular H that should have been the, at the end of that particular eta, e ethanoic acid. If it is ethanoic acid, the, the last H there will not be replaced by A N sodium. So that is it in terms of um, acid hydrolysis and alkaline, alkaline hydrolysis when acid is being used to catalyze it and when a, a, an alkalis is, an alkali is being used to hydrolyze it. All right, that is it for the number one chemical reaction of chemical behavior is what? Hydrolysis, hydrolysis. Number two reaction is it reacts with ammonia. And when ester reacts with ammonia, ester, as an example, we are using ethyl ethanoate, as the most uh, common and most important uh, element compound in the family, when it reacts with that, it's going to form ethanol and ethanamide. Ethanamide and ethanol will be formed. They are the product that will be produced. So it reacts with ammonia to produce two compounds, ethanol and ethanamide. That is the second reaction. Reaction, first one, chemical reaction is what? Hydrolysis number two is the reaction with ammonia it reacts with ammonia and the next one is reduction ethyl ethanoate when it's been reduced it will give ethanol ethyl ethanoate is being reduced to what ethanol is reduced to ethanol by hydrogen from a strong reducing agent like Lithium tetrahydrido aluminate 3. It's a reducing agent, and when that hydrogen is being, if it attacks ethyl ethanoate, it will reduce it to ethanol. As you can see, so we still have this as one of part of the reaction. Number three is that reduction. Reduction, we have it. And then finally, we're going to look at the uses, uses of ester. Ester are used as fragrance. Esters are used as fragrance in several things. Of course, esters, they have fragrance. And they are used as perfume, food fl uh, flavoring, and in cosmetics. 
in several ways in, in the form of their fragrance. Now, number two uses is that they are being used as organic solvents. We use them also as an explosive properties. They have explosive properties, so we use them in explosive uh, products that they are known for their explosive properties. So nitroglycerin is known for that. So it's being used in that particular area. And uh, another thing is that they are being used in manufacturing of uh, detergents and soap because of the ability to, they are, they, are, they, are, they are being used in sulfatants, like that detergent and the soap. And they are also being used in production of plastics. So these are the uses of ESTA. And this is where we call to end the, the class. Still remember that we, we said that esters are derived from carboxylic acids. A carboxylic acid contains what? COOH group. And the ester, an ester, the hydrogen in that particular COOH will be replaced by hydrocarbon group of some kind. It could be alkyl, it could be uh, benzene, it could be any other su substance that will be at to replace the H in that carboxylic acid. Then we now also stated that the chemical reactions that takes place during the formation of the ester is called what? Esterification. Thank you. But before we end the particular, this particular video, now take this particular assignment and uh, take it to do it and get it sent to me. Number one, what is esterification? B, give two uses of alkanoids and give the pro products of the alkaline hydrolysis of ethyl ethanoid, alkaline, alkaline hydrolysis. We talked about it, acid hydrolysis and alkaline hydrolysis. This is 2018, number one question of WIEC. Then number two question you need to do is a saturated organic compound A contains, containing two carbon atoms reacts with alkanoic acid in the presence of a mineral acid to form a compound B with a sweet smell. A, name the functional group present in A, in that particular A. B, write the chemical equation to show the formation of B. C, name the compound B. So this is why question 2015, number three. All right, that is a wonderful one. For further discussion and um, uh, interaction, you can get me through my line, phone line, with my country code plus 234-80655-73229 or 080, you call it 080-655-73229 or you can send me an email, you can email me at aircrystal116 at gmail.com. Aircrystal116 at gmail.com. That is it and thank you for being part of this particular video.